In the TV drama Ruiz Show You Love in the Palace, Ruiz and Qianlong had two boys and one girl. The little girl was scared to die by Consort Jia's dog, because Qianlong loved this daughter so much. He posthumously promoted her to the Prince Heiyi of the first rank. In real history, the Step Empress and Qianlong's daughter, the fifth prince, died at two years old without name. Qianlong didn't posthumously give her any title. In the TV drama, Ruiz's second son Yongjing died immediately after born. In real history, Yongjing lived nineteen months. After death, he was buried in the Crown Prince Duanhui's tomb. The Crown Prince Duanhui's tomb was built for Yongnian, who was Qianlong and the Empress Xiaoxian's first son. All Qianlong's early age died sons were buried here. In the TV drama, Ruyi and Qianlong's oldest son Yongqi survived and grown up. When Ruyi passed away, the relationship between Yongqi and Qianlong looks not very bad. Unfortunately, this is not true in real history. First, I must mention one thing: in the TV drama, they called the twelfth prince Yongqi, which is wrong. The correct way to read his name is Yongqi. Which has the same pronunciation with Qianlong's fifth son Yongqi. Their writing is different, but the meaning is similar, which means beautiful jade. When Yongqi was born, the Step Empress and Qianlong had a great relationship. In my opinion, Qianlong once considered Yongqi as the crown prince. First, Qianlong really wanted to follow traditional Han Chinese dynasty's inheriting rules, that the emperor's son inherited the throne. So, Qianlong paid many attentions on Yongqi's education. By 1765, the step empress cut her hairs. Only. Qianlong's fifth son had the possibility to inherit the throne. One year later, Qianlong's fifth son passed away. So, if the step empress could keep a great relationship with Qianlong, it's likely that Yongqi inherited the throne. Unfortunately, when Yongqi lost his mother. He also lost his father. After the step empress passed away, Qianlong seems forgot he still had a son called Yongqi. In Qing Dynasty, generally the royal family members married at about fourteen, but Yongqi married at nineteen, which was really late in Qing Dynasty. The government officers once begged Qianlong to give a noble title to Yongqi. Qianlong was furious and refused. When Qianlong hunted at imperial hunting grounds at Muwan, he brought all his sons, only left Yongqi in the Forbidden City. In 1776. Both Yongqi and Yongyan were sick. Qianlong personally visited Yongyan three times, but totally ignored Yongqi. When Yongqi passed away, Qianlong didn't express a little sadness. He didn't posthumously give Yongqi a noble title, and buried him as a normal royal clan member. Yongqi didn't have any kids, so the step empress didn't have descendants. 
Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.